انت بوعيك حكيت عن الشهاده كشيء جميل انت بتعتقد انه شيء جميل الشهاده كثير شيء جميل جدا جدا كل الناس بتتمنى الشهاده ايوه لانه يعني ايش في احلى من انك تروحي على الجنه طب مين 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 افضل السلام مع وجود حقوق كامله للشعب الفلسطيني ولا الشهاده الشهاده أيوة. انا اخذ حقي بعدين استشهد ماشي يسرى انت راضيه بالكلام هذا إيه آه طبعا الشهاده احلى إيه لانه انه احنا إيه هلا بدناش بدناش الدنيا بدنا الاخره ايوه انه مش الدنيا اللي حتفيدنا الاخره إيه خلينا اسالك سؤال بصراحه هل انتم بطبيعكم بتحبوا الموت في فرق بين الموت والشهاده لا الان انا بحكي عن 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 الغياب بمعنى الموت إيه ما فيش اطفال بتحب الموت أيوة. لكن اطفال فلسطين إيه اخذوا فكره عندهم مثلا انه الموت شهاده وهذا شيء كثير كويس انه مثلا كل طفل فلسطيني ولد مثلا قول له عمره 12 سنه يا رب استشهد في معنى احنا اتصال هاتفي صابرين من رام الله ايات الاخرس لما فجرت يعني كان عمرها 17 سنه صابرين انت انت مع او ضد؟ انا مع التفجير طبعا لانه هذا حقنا صابرين الان هل الوضع الطبيعي انه ايات الاخرس تفجر نفسها؟ طبعا وضع طبيعي I wholeheartedly agree with what I heard as I came in uh, from Dr. Asali's testimony about advocating uh, for a two-state solution that is premised on uh, security and peace and opportunity. And it's long been my position that's the only uh, option available for people of good faith. It is troubling, though, and, and that is something that... Uh, I think we have to recognize uh, that that uh, with the testimony and the uh, documentary evidence uh, concerning the uh, actually the the glorification of um, suicide um, killers and the incitement of young people to aspire to that position and the martyrdom that it may, in their minds, offer them, that's very hard for any of us who believe there has to be some resolution of the ongoing um, dispute uh, to understand. And I don't believe that there has been an adequate and consistent repudiation of the rhetoric of hate and the incitement of young people um, by the uh, authorities uh, in the Palestinian uh, Authority. And I think that's so important. And I think it needs to be not just done once, but, but over and over and over again. Um, the position that I, I bring to this is that for, you know, many years I've tried to do what I could to help children and to provide better opportunities for them. Uh, and my heart goes out to the Palestinian children as well as the Israeli children who had nothing to do with creating the conditions in which this violence occurs and yet are having to grow up fearful, having to grow up and see the losses of loved ones for whatever reason. You know, let's, let's not talk about who did what to whom and what the history is. But the fact is we owe our children better than that. And I think that it is just heartbreaking uh, to see the portrayal of martyrdom uh, as something that a young child should be encouraged to uh, hope for and aspire to. Uh, it's not just in the testimony and the evidence presented today, but in many other settings I've seen similar messages and they are broadcast on the Palestinian Authority TV, played over and over again. Uh, children playing death games, children, you know, being interviewed and kind of rotely reciting that death by Shahada is good. Um, it, it is a chilling example, and it's a real distortion of childhood and of adult responsibility. I mean, we can have all the arguments we want, and we can accuse each other of all the um, wrongdoing that goes back as far as the mind can remember, but we should not do it at the expense of 
you know, further undermining the opportunities and the futures of these children. Um, and so I just have to say that, that what is happening now and what seems to be um, endorsed and supported by the Palestinian leadership uh, through the PATV is troubling. And that has to end. I mean, there are many other arguments still to be had. And as we all remember, you know, many people thought that we were very close uh, in the year 2000 from Camp David forward. And we couldn't. We couldn't continue the negotiations. We couldn't get a uh, responsive partner on the other side. It was very discouraging. Um, but from my perspective, no matter what the ongoing political, diplomatic, historical arguments must be uh, worked out, these uh, horrible examples of encouraging young people to be tools in this uh, adult conflict is just not to be condoned or permitted to continue. You know, I, I saw reports of a recent book called Army of Roses by Barbara Victor about women suicide bombers. You know, that's a, a new development. Now, you know, I believe in, in women's uh, participation in societies uh, as fully as possible. It's just tragic that that is now a way in which some women are choosing to uh, conduct themselves. But in this book, um, the author has very compelling evidence about the fact that suicide bombers often are trained and brainwashed into seeing themselves as these uh, martyrs. Uh, and the author did something which I found as a mother very touching. You know, oftentimes you see the mothers of the suicide bombers, both young men and young women, and, you know, they are appearing fearless and very devoted to the cause and very proud of their daughter or their son who's gone off to blow themselves up and kill others with them. But this author went behind the scenes and actually talked to these mothers when the cameras were off, and they were reduced to tears. And they shared the feelings that any mother would about what is happening. Why would my child do this? And often these are children with some of the very best futures for a Palestinian state. These are children who are going to college. These are children who have the opportunity to contribute to building a strong uh, Palestinian state. And instead, uh, they are, in my view, brainwashed uh, into uh, committing suicide uh, for reasons that have very little to do other than the continuing desire by those who encourage them uh, to pursue a path of terrorism and violence. So there must be a way out of this on the diplomatic and political front. But in the meantime, all adults, no matter what our political position, no matter what the grievances that we may carry uh, toward another, should be at least united in saying, let our children live to make their own decisions in the future. And it would be extremely beneficial to achieve the goals that I think many of us, or at least I'll speak for myself and what I hear, heard from Dr. Asali share, of someday seeing the children of Israel and Palestine living in peace to, without equivocation, <laughs> repudiate and condemn this continuing abuse of children and this incitement to hatred uh, that we have much more evidence of than just what has been presented by Mr. Marcus. لأرضي شدائي لا تزعل يا غالي وتبكي الفرائي يا أبويا يا غالي لأرضي شدائي عزم وإرادة حفيلك بوعدي أحلى الشهادة صدرك يا أرضي ما أحلى الشهادة فوق صدرك يا أرضي حبيبتي يا أغلى ما في زفيني بدمي
Senator Clinton at this point for questioning. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Dr. Rahman, can I just focus on the issue before us? And perhaps it is a narrow issue, but I think it's a fundamental and profound one. Will the Palestinian Authority direct the PATV to remove any reference to martyrdom, shahada, and the glorification of suicide bombers from the television? Senator Clinton, there was an effort made by the previous government of Mahmoud Abbas, and there was a meeting held between Nabil Amr, who is the Minister of Information, and Mr. Shalom, the Foreign Minister of Israel, working towards that end. How can we improve the coverage in both areas, in the Palestinian as well as on the Israeli television? And even Mr. Sharon acknowledged then that progress was made. Yes, the answer to your question, yes, we are making an effort. But again, I mean, I understand that you, are, you want to focus on this issue, but I personally, honestly, cannot separate this from the wider context. I understand yes. that. And, I, and, and I, therefore, I, uh, we cannot really, Senator, and I hate to interrupt, but we cannot overlook the situation on the ground because we, this will do an injustice to no, the whole I, thing. But, but I understand your position. And I can only say that there are many, in fact, myriad of issues of importance to be discussed between the Israelis and the Palestinians if there is to be any hope of resolution. But on this issue, I do not understand why the Palestinian Authority cannot separate out a legitimate perspective on what is happening. And look, we all see everything through the prism of our own experience. So the, co the news coverage on the Palestinian TV is certainly going to be very different than the news coverage on Israeli TV or on American TV. We all understand that. But I'm talking about the affirmative support that the Palestinian Authority is giving in rhetoric and in propaganda and through the media to this phenomenon of suicide bombing. Now, to me, that is separable. I'm not asking that you would in any way abdicate what you view as your rightful perspective to say that you disagree with settlements or you disagree with, you know, other policy of the Israeli government. Of course, that is part of the dispute that has to be resolved. But on this issue, it was for many years uh, not a part of the <coughs> repertoire of either incitement or violence by uh, those who are influenced or directed by any group in Palestine. Now it has become the weapon of choice. And it seems to me that there is a very big difference from people arming themselves, however much I may disrespect that or disagree with it, and going forth to do battle with whomever they see as the enemy, and having young people strap bombs on themselves, going forth, killing themselves, killing other innocent people, and then being glorified. Now, that to me is, is a separate issue that should be addressed in order to demonstrate what you are telling us, which is that the Palestinian Authority does wish to engage in an ongoing uh, effort. They do wish to create a, cause circumstances for a two-state solution. And they do wish to be separated from the demagogues and the terrorists. This would be a very strong piece of evidence that that is not just rhetoric, but action. I don't see where it undermines the Palestinian position. In fact, I think it strengthens the legitimate Palestinian Authority position to be separate from those who would engage in such incitement and, in fact, in my view, um, brainwashing of young people for uh, such horrible purposes. Thank you. 
الذين نتأذى من هذا السرطان 